Hello, let's talk about the introduction to computer. In this part, we will know what is the computer. A computer is a, a data and an information processing and the information access, accessing tool. This means that it is an instrument that you can access the process, the information which you input before. So this means that it accepts information or data from the outside the world and processes it to produce new information. That new information is what we call the output. The accepting of data or information from the outside world, that is what we call the input, and processes it to produce that new information. So it also retrieves the stored information efficiency. You can store information there, so also the computer enables you to retrieve that information. So hence you can say that the computer is an, an electronic device capable of accepting information, applying prescribable prescribed the processes to the information and they supplying the results of these processes. This means that it is a device electronic that it, that it is it uses electricity that accepts the information given by a certain person then applying prescribed processes. Such processes are prescribed as given to the one who gave the command then processes it to the given information and supplying the results of such processes. So a computer usually consists of input and output devices. As we have already seen that it consists of these three processes. So in order to acquire these three processes, it requires the, the devices that are needed for these activities. So there are input and output devices storage, arithmetic and logical units and the control unit. Now the principles of a computer. This means that the principal characteristics of a computer that it requires the functioning. The first one is that it responds to a specific set of instructions in a well-designed manner. So that in a well-designed manner, the computer can access and respond to a given specific set of instructions given by the instructor. Then, it can execute a pre-recorded list of instructions. This means that it can occupy those pre-recorded list of instructions, those records which of instruction given before as a program. And literally, the third one is that it can quickly store and retrieve large amount of data. So it can store large amount of data and also retrieve it as the instructor or a person wants. So those are the principles of a computer. Now let's let's talk about the types of computers. Okay. The computers can be generally classified by physical size, purpose or power, and the functionality. So we can get the different types of computer knowing these three classifications. So we we'll start by the classification of computer according to physical sizes. So according to physical sizes, we have the microcomputers. Uh, mini computers, many frame computers, and the supercomputers. So these are the many four types of computers that are based on the physical size. So according to the size, it means that the size of the computer we can dif we can differently classify them according to these four. So these four are the what we call the classification of computer according to physical sizes. So we'll talk about them in our next lecture, so stay tuned, thank you.